So people have been asking if I could do a quick video of this. This is my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shelf. Uh, as it stands right now before the studio reno uh, here in a couple months. But uh, yeah, I figure I'll just do a quick little pan and scan and then I'll go through each of the shelves individually. Um, as you can see, there's definitely still some works in progress. Uh, a bunch of stuff got knocked down when uh, we were starting to take apart the rooms and stuff. So uh, yeah, I'll come back around to those for sure at the end. But uh, we'll start up here, I guess. So this is kind of a combination and mishmash of a bunch of the bigger things in my collection. So stuff like the Technodrome, those NECA quarter skill um, baby turtles. Um, you know, like my, uh, that actually the re-release of the uh, OG party wagon. My original one is actually up in my kiddo's room. Some of those Mega Constructs, some Gachapon figures, uh, Turflidal, uh, my original Mikey Bowl. Uh, up there we got my custom Mikey Ghostbuster. Uh, a couple VHS back there, as well as an on-card Fugitoid. It's just kind of a mishmash of customs and other rando stuff, as well as the OG2 Turtles in black and white. Uh, one from Mondo, one from Bottleneck Gallery. I'm popping down. This is uh, my vintage shelf. It is not all the vintage figures I own. Um, actually, a chunk of my originals, again, are up with Ollie. But um, these are kind of my select ones that I took out to uh, include in this. So, um, you know, you got Stun Action Turtles back there, that Mini Krang, Pizza Face neutrinos. Uh, the storage shell turtles always were a favorite of mine growing up. Uh, that is a turtle's cookie container. I actually have all the accessories in there for my turtle pigs. The knucklehead, which actually the knucklehead I got only a couple years ago, but was one of those vehicles that I always wanted, like with the muter wrap. Um, down here, some mini cardboard packages. I thought it was cool for the turtles to have the turtle toys. Uh, I believe these are actually Jada, if I remember correctly. Fire Hydrant, all the OG boys on uh, the cheap skates. Um, that is, these are my brothers and my original four turtles. Uh, I'm proud to say that belt never stayed on as a kid. Still gotta fix that eventually. Uh, Mouser, some mini mutants, and mini figs. Uh, that's actually a Hot Wheels turtle van, but uh, the mini mutant mutants fit just fine. Uh, giant Mikey. I whited out the eyes on it. Uh, I didn't have this originally as a kid. It was kind of beat up when I got it, so I cleaned it up. I whited out the eyes because I saw it on Eastman's desk. He had the same thing, and I loved it. Over here we have the very um, small movie display. I don't even have the Turtles three figures in there yet. Uh, they were on my desk when I started packing stuff, but uh, the accessory packs in there, all three VHS, my little custom, uh, not Kino as a turtle, but uh, him as his, him, or Ernie Reyes Jr. as the stunt performer, so I thought that was kind of fun. Moving over my custom 2012 backdrop that I made. 2012 is uh, my jam. I have a special love of it uh, because I got to collect it and kind of fall in love with the show again with my son, so it means a lot to me. But there's a lot of customs in there. Oh, excuse me. Ice Cream Kitty from the Mega Bloks. Moving on. Just kind of a blend. I mean, there's a lot of third party figures in here Rebel Tech, Customs, everything. It's my best iteration. Shout out to Pikmin's Vinyls for that amazing creep. I had to put it back together a few times because Ollie got his hands on it a few too many times. Down here is a mishmash of all things turtles on those NECA Street dials. I got Super Mutants, 03 Hyper Articulated Turtles. SH figure arts, NECA figures, just a bunch. As you all also notice, there's a bunch of Mousers thrown in there too. All the villains. So if you kind of creep back there, there's the original news staff. They kind of fell down and I made a little studio with the LEDs wiring burnt out. Rise in 2012, some more NECA. Next mutation on there, that silver 
right there. Uh, that figure is was a grail for me. I found it at my first Kane County. Up here you have the 07 TMNT, Batman TMNT crossovers, Power Ranger crossovers, my custom IDW Turtles, um, Last Ronin, the first movie Turtles again, Secret of the Ooze with my custom tattoo, hoping to replace that soon, the Soto Turtles, and again a couple couple more customs, got Casey's a foot, uh, Baxter Stockman back there, just the lower shelves that are kind of beat up right now, I'm not going to show off just because they're pretty um, messy, but we come down here, we have the made 1979 custom, and I got a bunch of figures, and of course it looks like some of them fell down again, again there's a lot of construction going on down here in the basement, so stuff's getting rattled pretty well, but this is pretty much all my this fantastic diorama made by a friend of the channel made 1979 customs go check them out absolutely phenomenal we'll kind of round it out here We've got the mondo turtles again my lights fried out so but i have all four turtles and then i also have a couple mousers in there and then over here is just a bunch of the comics and graphic novels and such um, again collapsed <laughs> turtle video game display um, but yeah, that is a look at my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shelf as it stands right now before the studio reno goes on uh, here in the next couple months. So I just wanted to give you guys a chance to check it out. So uh, yeah, check it out, enjoy, and uh, yeah, if you want to see any of the other shelves as they stand right now, let me know. But I will be doing a big old room tour once everything is finished. So uh, thanks for watching, everyone. As always, be good, be kind. Much love from Minnesota. Bye-bye.